Okay, so today I have this piece of really nice Blomidon sea maggot from Nova Scotia. And you can see I already drew some stencils on here. This is a 30 by 40 oval pendant cab here. Uh, this this side over here I'm going to try to salvage. I, I think I might have drawn the, the stencil too close to this one. But this is the main one I want here because it's got some really awesome agate, yellow agate in there. It's got some plumy pink and white going on. It's going to be really amazing cab. Uh, really excited to do this one. I've put this one aside for a while and I'm ready to do it. So let's take it over to the trim saw. We're going to cut it up a little bit, get this, this guy out of here. Hopefully we can save this guy. If not, maybe I can shift it over a bit. Anyway, let's go over to the high-tech diamond 10 inch slab saw and we'll cut this up. got really really lucky when we cut that you could see uh, as soon as I started cutting along the line between these two stencils it broke along a fracture and that fracture I mean perfectly bisected exactly where I needed it to and I if, if the saw had gone through there it would have grinded away and I would have lost you know one or both but it broke it look at that perfect I didn't lose any stencil uh, yeah, got real lucky there. So I got the two cabs, and we're going to work with this one mainly. This one we'll, we'll do if we have time, but this is the one we want to go after today because, as you can see, it's looking pretty awesome. And uh, that runs all the way through, but uh, we're going to go over the Cab King now and do some edge grinding. <laughs>
Okay, so here's the finished product. Some of you may be wondering why I had the cab so thick. Well, the reason was I was planning on doming this very high. You can see I domed it very high. And I just really like this look. Recently, I've been making a lot of cabs like this. And I just love that domed, that high dome look. But this cab turned out awesome. You can see the, the yellow agate. Uh, you can't really tell from the camera, but there's a hint of amethyst in this uh, center clear stuff here. But really cool stuff. Really happy with how this cab turned out. This might be one of my best looking cabs I've made. Um, just as far as the rock quality. Really nice. I made it 30 by 40 oval shape, so... I'm not going to I'm not going to glue it into the bezel yet. I'm going to keep it. Uh see if I can maybe find a sterling silver bezel for this. I think it warrants it. It's very nice, but I do have a steel one. We could take a look to see what it looks like inside of it. There you go. See tiny egg, it's all through this pink and white stuff. Almost kind of like crazy lace almost. Really nice piece. As always, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.